execution-wise um, in that fourth quarter, what had to happen for you guys to get the shots that you wanted and also force those big-time misses? Yeah, just uh, sticking to the game plan, not not getting down when they make tough shots because we knew they'll make some tough shots. And so that was just the main thing, just staying locked in. They make a tough shot, so we'll take it out. Run our offense, we're going to get a good shot. So that was really the main thing that we was emphasizing. So I think it worked out pretty well for us. And for you, you had to fight through a lot. What was the key for you on the offensive side of getting to so many different places and spots? Yeah, just, uh, just still trying to find my rhythm, get my rhythm down, my timing. You know, it was only my, I think it was my fourth or fifth game back. So, you know, I'm still not really in the rhythm like how I was before, but I feel like I'm getting there slowly, slowly but surely. So, you know, just keep playing and staying true and just keep believing in my work. Without, I guess, having the benefit of that rhythm where it's, I don't want to say coming easy, but mm. everything's coming simply to you. Mm. Um, what did you have to do and what adjustments did you have to make for you to be able to kind of get off in the fourth quarter? Yeah, just, uh, just uh, staying focused, staying locked in. You know, trusting, trusting that you know I'm gonna get some good shots. You know, the off, the way the you know the way they were playing defense, I was gonna get a lot of threes up. So I knew coming into that I was gonna get some threes up. You know, so I worked on that, coming off the screens for threes, little ISO threes. So I knew I could get to that a little bit. So you know, it's a good thing I made them. But you know, it's not how I was when I first started. So I just you know, so that really irritates me. So I just try to keep working. You know, and game my game is getting a little better. I feel better out there every time. So you know, it's, it's coming for sure. Did the, those free throws at the end, did that kind of just make it even more sweeter? It's starting to come back a little bit just because you were in that moment, had to knock them down. Did that just kind of help get that going a little bit? Just uh -huh. Oh, no. Nah, I mean, it's free throws, bro. I was going to make those. It's just, just when I'm out there. It's just when I'm out there just shooting shots mid-range and my, my rhythm shots that I was, you know, I normally take that normally go in that are not going in right now. So, you know, but free throws, I was going to make those. That ain't, no, nah, that's nothing, so. For you, uh, not just you personally, but I mean team-wise, um, was it the way that they were defending you guys that allowed you guys to get up more threes and not be as reliant on the midi, or mm. was that a conscious decision? Listen, we have to drive and kick, and we have to be getting up 43s because that's the way we need to play. Yeah, that's part of it. Um, I'd probably say it's more their, a little bit of Bobo is more their coverage. Uh, we know they was in drop coverage a lot, and you know, on the Sidelines still ISIS, so we knew we drive. You snake it, drive. They they pull in a lot, so we get a lot of corner threes. And then when we set the high pick and roll, it's gonna be you know the bigs and drop. And all you gotta do is like the big set the screen, hold the screen, we're gonna get some threes up. So I really say it's just more of their defensive coverage for sure. You mentioned uh, pregame that it's gonna be weird seeing Katie in the Suns jersey. At what point did that kind of settle in? And what was it kind of like just to take him on as an opponent? Yeah, probably. Uh, <laughs> when I was warming up, um, the pregame warm up, when I seen him warming up on the other end, you know, we looked at each other and was like, <laughs> we just hit each other to that. So it was cool. I mean, obviously, you know, coming to the league, you want to play against the guys like that. Obviously, I had the luxury of him being my teammate for two, two and a half years or a year and a half, whatever it was. So, you know, I'm thankful for that. But obviously, when you come into the league, you want to play against, you know, the top guys, Hall of Fame guys, you know, just to measure yourself, see where you're at. So, you know, it was definitely a fun experience and, you know, can't wait to do it again. Have you had a chance to talk to Kevin you know, at any point this season or today leading up to this game? Yeah, we talked. Yeah, we talked a little bit. Um, we don't really talk much because you know they on different schedules. You know, schedules get crazy. But he did text me when I got injured. When I hurt my ankle, he texted me like a day or two after, just checking in on me, seeing how I was doing. So, you know, I mean, that meant a lot for sure. So, you know, the brotherhood's still there. It's just you know he on the West Coast, and I'm on the East Coast still. So it's tough. Schedule's tough.